Juneteenth officially became a national holiday just last year. It marks the day in 1865 when Union soldiers arrived in Galveston, Texas to order the freedom of enslaved people of African descent two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Today, many focus on learning about history and tackling racial disparities. Eyewitness News reporter Irene Cruz joins us live from a church-based celebration in Santa Monica. And how are things out there, Irene? Well, things have just wrapped up, but today throughout Southern California, we've seen several Juneteenth events, including one right here at one of the oldest black Baptist churches in Santa Monica. It's the second year Juneteenth is being recognized as a federal holiday, and the celebrations were in full swing today. At Calvary Baptist Church, one of the oldest historically black Baptist churches in Santa Monica, people came together for good soul food, black owned vendors, and a few car games and speakers. I have helped to build the forest. In Inglewood, people kept active at a double Dutch tournament with the Lakers and the LA Sparks. Happy Juneteenth. This is a crazy weekend. You know, it's the second annual Juneteenth in terms of it being an actual holiday, but it's always been a holiday for me and my family. Plus, the Rams served as Grand Marshal at the Big Inglewood Parade and Freedom Fest. But Juneteenth is so much more than fun and festivities. It's about reflecting on a part of history and moving forward. And some say having the day federally recognized is an important step in the right direction. When you put it on that larger stage, it, it lets people know that this has extreme value. Celebrate, celebrate life, celebrate living, celebrate excellence, celebrate accomplishments. We did it! June 19 commemorates the day in 1865 when Union Army General Gordon Granger told enslaved people they had been freed. That announcement came almost three years after the Emancipation Proclamation. People are happy to celebrate, but know there's still a long way to go. There's still a lot of oppression and suppression and segregation and separation. Um, I'm a firm believer that, that love can overcome all of that, and we've got to start healing at some point. And in observance of the holiday, there will be many closures tomorrow, including schools, federal offices, the posts, Postal Service, and also banks. In Santa Monica, Irene Cruz, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Irene.